everybody, welcome back to Industry Insights. My special guest today, Aaron Perchett. Yes. Um, I want to talk to Aaron about a couple of things, but first off, I want to talk about debunking the concept that there's such a thing as an overnight success in this business. And let's use your story for example. Sure. You were out there grinding, hustling, building value before you even had a team. Tell us a little bit about your genesis as an artist. Well, originally, uh, when I first hit the stage, I remember um, playing in clubs for 10 years, and some nights you'd have two people in the audience. So I remember those, those, uh, those times where you had to try and engage those two people and make them have a good time. That was what it was really all about. But it eventually came to a point where people were really enjoying what I was doing on stage, not just singing, but entertaining them as well. And... Uh, and it grew and grew and grew, but this was over a 10 year span. Um, and even further to that, I was singing in, you know, 1991 was the first time. You mean time it didn't happen in, in front a month? Of no, it, it, it wasn't an overnight success, <laughs> not by any, any means. It was, a, it was actually a 13 year process by the time I had first started singing in front of people to having my first song on radio that was a hit. It was 13. National. 13 plus years nationally, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an overnight thing. And. You were able to then end up build, you know, building your own value, your own equity, and somewhat getting into a position where you attracted the right partners to come work with you, as mm -hmm. opposed to the opposite, which is you know what a lot of artists are doing, which is just calling people uh, all the time, yeah. trying to get an agent, trying to get a publicist, trying to get a manager, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's outreach, but in your case, those people all came to you because you built something meaningful first. To a degree, yes, absolutely. I mean, when I was playing and, and attracting the crowd that just kept building and building and building in these clubs, um, I had people definitely approach me. Uh, but you also have to use your, your intuition, like we've spoken to privately before, that use your intuition on what kind of people that you really want to work with, and that's very important. But um, they kept coming to me, and every now and then I try and get other people's attention as well. Uh, but definitely uh, building that fan base and, and showing that you can sell a ticket, uh, you can entertain the people while they're there and have them leaving basically wanting more, uh, it attracts those industry people that want to work with you. So, But it took a long time to get there, but it got there. Do you think a good piece of advice for emerging artists is that you know they've got to be aware of their insecurities because that can really mm -hmm. undermine your intuition and your discernment? Absolutely. Yeah, you, there's so many things you have to be aware of, not just your intuition, but you have to be uh, just aware of your abilities, um, you know, and, and uh, use as many of those different things as you can to your advantage as opposed to being insecure about all of it. Mm -hmm. um, taking, even being on a stage, for example, and, and uh, understanding what you're, you're looking out into the audience and reading what they want back from you. Um, there's definitely a lot of that, and, and I, I've used that to my advantage over the last 20 plus years. Of being in the industry and uh, and it's brought me to where I am today. So if you take your career now in the context that it is, you've played every big stage in Canada, you've scored multiple top mm -hmm. 10, top 5 hits, um, you've won uh, awards, you've gotten all this national recognition, but you probably have a pretty great observational perspective of emerging artists and when you're taking a look at the industry today and you're taking a look at individual careers, we don't have to name names, what do you think some artists are doing wrong that they could be doing better so that they can start to build themselves from a regional artist to a national artist? Well, I think there's several different ways you can do that, but I would say one of the main things nowadays in, in, with today's technology and today's uh, uh, um, uh, the way that the world is working is definitely engaging yourself into social media have to get into the social media aspect of it, not just having a team do that for you, but actually as the artist trying to um, find a way to f get those fans to adhere to who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it. And I think once they understand that and they see that, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll lean on you for every you know, last little bit of anything you have to say, as well as anything you want to put on there for them. Um, that's that's one of the major aspects. Put that and, vulnerability on display. Yeah, yeah, and be you. Just be yourself as much as possible. But if you have, have a great sense of humor, really show your sense of humor as wild as it might be. 
um, show them a little bit of an aspect of where you live and and uh, a little insight of what kind of shoes you wear or whatever. It's, it, mm -hmm. People are interested whatever in that your passions kind of thing. Are. And try and engage them in, in your life personally, as well as like off stage, side stage, on stage, and uh, give them a piece of all of your life, um, as opposed to just being, oh, that guy on stage or girl on stage. Um, that's one of the things that I don't find enough artists doing, to be honest, and definitely not naming names, but We've all done it. I, I, when I first got into social media, it was one of the things I wasn't doing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and I think the other things too, there's the radio aspect of it. Radio is such a, uh, I mean, it's one of those mediums that you think, oh, it's eventually going to go away. Radio to me is never going to go away. And thankfully it's not in so, for so many reasons. But I think um, if an artist can go to the radio people and their audience in individual cities and towns, and engage them and like I said make them understand who they are and what they're all about and uh, why they do their music and you know all these different things about that artist uh, I think their audience is going to do nothing but grow and you know I, I definitely feel like I've been able to do that with with um, with, uh, with my career and go to radio and I, I, I genuinely love radio mm -hmm. people because they're really doing me a favor in my life, but they're also really great people, and they're usually they're, they're your marketing department. Fans. Yeah, uh, and they're the ones relaying yeah, the message totally. to their their listeners. Yeah, that are like you know, Aaron Pachet came by, and he's a really good guy, and he he enjoys us as much as we enjoy him. So um, they have that uh, ability to pass that on to the fans, and that so. can be as extensive as a radio tour, but you can mm -hmm. also just go to Canadian Country Music Week or Canadian Music Week and meet totally. a lot of those people and network with them in those forums as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know what? It's, it's as meaningful still to give them a call. Phone them. True. You know, if you're, if you're a new artist and you're getting some radio play on uh, with CJVR Cal Grad, you know, in, in Melford, Saskatchewan. Dropping names. What are you doing? You're calling Cal. Yeah, because you want to introduce yourself and, and give them that uh, that personality and, and not just uh, assume well I deserve this airplay because it, that can be that can be taken that way sometimes you definitely don't want to give that off as a new artist definitely anything else uh, well I guess the most important thing to me is as an artist when you're a new artist especially uh, and not just you know if you, if you play the clubs and you don't have this side of um, of your image as an artist, but it's your personality. Um, being able to show that you have a personality and, and developing your personality and understanding uh, maybe your weaknesses on stage, which is something that people have a hard time admitting, especially new artists, the younger artists, thinking, well, no, I can sing. and People are gonna come to my shows just because I can sing. That's not really what they're gonna keep coming back to your shows for or, or um, having that engagement with them and, and, like I said, endearing yourself to them. Uh, you have to you have to create a personality that is really you somewhat off stage on stage mm -hmm. so that they want to keep coming back to your shows and, and getting to know you a lot more not just through the, the music that's on the radio and uh, and and making sure that uh, that your personality is is um, is brought out and, and shown on stage and I, I think uh, new artists really need to develop that and it, it, it takes experience being on the stage to do that. Well, that's but probably at the same hard time, because in, in some ways you almost have to be in character to get mm -hmm. on stage, right? You Absolutely. almost have to be playing a part. So how do you do that and still allow who you are and what you stand for to shine through? I think it's like being an actor in some ways, to some degree. And I, I've told new artists, what you should do is you should get into an acting course. You know, you're a singer. You're going to be on a stage. You're going to be performing. You're an entertainer, mostly. You're an entertainer. It's not just that you're singing. You got to entertain these people so that they want to keep com keep coming back to your shows, and go to acting lessons so that you can loosen up, and you can relax, and you feel comfortable in front of people. You know, and, and when it comes to shooting a video, for example, you're more comfortable in front of a camera, and your personality can really show. So it, it you know it's not an easy thing, and sometimes people are really guarded and they just want to sing and then get off stage. Yeah. Um, whereas, and that's kind of the way I was when I first started. And it, like I said, no overnight success. It took me it took me 13 years to figure out who I was. And even past that, as recent as last year, 2017, I still found things that I was working on that I was getting better and better at. And with the stage performance, off stage interviews, things like that. 
but um, I would say try and try and approach it in any way possible to bring up more of a personality in you, and that means going to acting classes, going to dancing classes, going to all kinds of things that'll help you become more of an entertainer to engage that crowd. A fixation on improvement <laughs> always <laughs> ever ends. Yeah, sounds yeah. sounds effective. Thank you so much My for the pleasure. time. Okay, yeah, appreciate you. it, man.